That massive storm is delaying those vaccine appointments for thousands, closing some vaccination sites in at least seven states on the East Coast. Eva Pilgrim joins us from a mass vaccination site at Fenway Park opening this morning with more on the race to vaccinate and the new mass mandate from the White House. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Robin. Yeah, Fenway is actually opening an hour earlier this morning at 8 to try to get these vaccinations in before this winter storm. They're telling the people with afternoon appointments to come in the morning if they can so they can avoid that weather. This as there's a new federal order that says masks are no longer optional in some places. Mask mandate. Starting today, masks will now be a requirement on public transportation, from airplanes to taxis and ride shares. A new Biden administration order taking effect tonight. This as the urgent race to vaccinate continues. Thousands lined up at mass vaccination sites this weekend. In Dallas, cars stretched for miles. Some people turned away due to high demand. This is not a vaccine. Anti-vax protesters temporarily shutting down a vaccine site at Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles. The mostly maskless group blocking the entrance, slowing down vaccinations. And now all eyes on a third vaccine. The single shot Johnson & Johnson vaccine vaccine is 85% effective at preventing severe cases and 100% when it comes to preventing hospitalization or death. The vaccine could be available by the end of this month and the company is aiming for 100 million doses by June. Okay. Meanwhile, promising data coming out of nursing homes. According to the CDC, 3.5 million vaccines have been given to staff and residents in long-term care facilities. I just feel relieved. I just feel as though I, we're turning a corner. According to the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services, COVID cases in nursing homes have steadily dropped in the past month, a sign the vaccines are making a positive impact. And here the plan today is to try to get everyone vaccinated, as many people as possible, before 1 o'clock. But they tell me there's no hard out when they're going to close down today. They say they're just going to watch the weather. One official telling me, and I quote, this is New England. We know the weather sometimes makes things harder, but we find a way. Guys. True that. All right, Eva, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.